Aldehyde oxidase is a metabolizing enzyme, located in the cytosolic compartment of tissues in many organisms. AL catalyzes the oxidation of aldehydes into carboxylic acid, and in addition, catalyzes the hydroxylation of some heterocycles. It can also catalyze the oxidation of both cytochrome P450 and monoamine oxidase intermediate products. AL plays an important role in the metabolism of several drugs. AL catalyzes the conversion of an aldehyde in the presence of oxygen and water to an acid and hydrogen peroxide. Though the enzyme uses molecular oxygen as an electron acceptor, the oxygen atom that is incorporated into the carboxylate product is from water, however, the exact mechanism of reduction is still not known for AL. The AL also catalyzes the oxidation of heterocycles, which involves a nucleophilic attack located at the carbon atom beside the heterotom. This means that susceptibility to nucleophilic attack of a heterocycle determines if that heterocycle is a suitable substrate for AL. Aldehyde oxidase is a member of the molybdenum flavoprotein family and has a very complex evolutionary profile, as the genes of AL varies according to animal species. Higher primates, such as humans, have a single functioning AL gene, whereas rodents have four separate OX genes. The human population has both functionally inactive HOX1 allelic variants and encoding enzyme variants with different catalytic activities. AL activity has been found to be much more active in higher primates, though many factors may affect this activity, such as gender, age, cigarette smoking, drug usage, and disease states. Aldehyde oxidase is very concentrated in the liver, where it oxidizes multiple aldehydes and nitrogenous heterocyclic compounds, such as anti-cancer and immunosuppressive drugs. Some AO activity has been located in other parts of the body, including the lungs, the kidneys, and the gastrointestinal tract. The regulation of expression of AO is still not completely known, though some studies have shown that the OX1 gene is regulated by the NRF2 pathway. Some known inhibitors of AO are sterol and phenol compounds, like estradiol. Others include imsacrine, 6,6-azopurin, chlorpromazine, cimetidine, cyanide, diethylstilbestrol, genistine, isovanillin, and methadone. AO is very similar in amino acid sequence to xanthine oxidase. The active sites of AO has been found to have a superimposed structure to that of EXO, in studies involving mouse liver. AO is a homotomer, and requires FAD, molybdenum and 2,2-FA2S clusters as cofactors. These 2,2-FA2S cofactors each bind to the two distinct 150K demonomers of AO. Three separate domains harbor these three requirements. There is a 20K to N terminal which binds to the 2,2-FA2S cofactors, a 40k to domain which provides a means of binding to the fad, and a C-terminal which houses the molybdenum. Aldehyde oxidase is thought to have a significant impact on pharmacokinetics. AO is capable of oxidizing many drugs in the liver, because of its broad substrate specificity. AO greatly contributes to the hepatic clearance of drugs and other compounds. For example, cytoplasmic ox won a key enzyme in the hepatic phase on metabolism of several xenobiotics. For this reason, Ox genes are becoming increasingly important to both understand and control in the therapeutic drug industry. Pfizer TLR7 agonist program has found several techniques to switch the AL metabolism off. Thanks for watching.